meditating on in Psalm 63. It's really been carrying me this year, and I just felt like the Lord wanted me to share it. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly will I seek you. My inner self thirsts for you. My flesh long and faints for you. In a dry and weary land where no water is, so I looked upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. So will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My whole being shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, you have been my help in the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My whole being follows hard after you, clings closely to you. Your right hand upholds me. Church, I would just say like, man, make that tonight. You know, tonight is a, our service of prayer that we're gonna move into prayer. And I would just say, seek God. I mean, there's some points that we're gonna pray for and believe God for. But in the same sense, man, like pastor said, just fall in love fall in love just forget about the week forget about the day forget about the here you can't judge the future yesterday is past what do they say today is a gift right man we're here right now we're all hungry otherwise you would not be on a Wednesday night you Wednesday night you most hungry people in the church sorry for those that are watching that are not here you need to get hungrier but, man, let's not waste our time. I certainly didn't waste my time coming here. Let's just, just make God our number one and seek Him. So just take five minutes, and then we'll move on some other things here. Man, just tell God, Lord, God, I seek you. Earnestly, God, my inner self, like, you know, your inner, your core, like that inner, inner. Like, God, I seek you. No one else, Lord, matters, Father. Not the world, not the voices out there, Father. Only you matter, Lord. Father, tonight we give the service to you as we press in for the city, Lord, for this church, Father, for our youth, Father, for people that are coming to this church this year as we grow. Lord, we come as a group, Lord. Father, we come in agreement. And Father, we bind the things that need to be bind, and we loose the things that need to be loosened, Lord. And Father, we believe you that tonight, Lord, that we will shake some things, Lord. That we would even see the results of tonight's prayer as we walk out of here, Lord. And every person under the sound of my voice will not be the same, Lord. We'll go to the next level in their prayer life. We'll go to the next level in their relationship with you. The next level in their hunger for you and your word, Lord. The next level, Father and how they talk in their prayer life that they would truly truly pray out of their spirit lord and it's not just a language to them like pastor said but they would really connect with heaven tonight lord and then just because it's a prayer service that we won't take that lightly but prayer is so important and father thank you that we can come to the throne of heaven tonight and you hear us lord we thank you jesus we worship you lord thank you jesus Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, Hayes. You could take a seat, church. Say hi to someone. I guess give everyone a hug. Welcome. Man, how great is... Hayes on that guitar. I love it. Want me to stay here, right? Yeah, you can. That's fine. Awesome. What's up, church? How's everyone doing? Pray for me. I don't have a lot of time to uh, prepare for this, so. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. So for those that don't know, um, the plan is 
obviously our Wednesday night services, we're going to move it into a full service. Um, and then every last Wednesday of the month, we're going to have our, um, our prayer services. So where we're going to come together, really believe God, and, uh, you know, we'll have some prayer points. You know, we have a few out for tonight. And um, just really press in for what's happening. A lot of parts are moving. I'll share on some of that tonight on what's happening with the construction and, and the vision and everything what's happening around the ministry. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, pastor sends their love. Wish they could be here. They love all of you, but they will be here Sunday, and uh, it's going to be great. So um, I guess I'll just do a quick announcement. So I got three announcements, and then we can jump into uh, the next part. Um, number one, where's Charlie? Woo! So Camp Charlie. Woo! Camp Charlie this Friday. Uh, pretty exciting. So. Um, we didn't mention age groups, so I apologize. Uh, so we have youth. What time is youth? 6.30. 630. Um, and then, so girls is welcome for that. Anyone's welcome that you already are in youth, you know your ages. And then boys, or should I say the men in the making. Um, you guys, whoo, whoo, I was like, um, the, you, you guys can stay, obviously. And uh, Charlie said the camp begins 5.30. So if you are part of the camp or want to learn some manly skills, um, 5.30, you can show up. If you have tent equipment, bring it. Um, parents, if you have any questions, just reach out to Charlie. He'll be happy to answer for you. Um, but, uh, and then, obviously, it's going to be done the next day at 12, right? So pretty excited what Charlie's doing. Uh, I love his vision, and I think it's very much needed. So uh, if you're a teen and a man, want to be a man, don't miss it. It's going to be great. Um, you can register if you wanted to on the QR code there, too. Uh, second one, I'll let you pick, Irma. All right, Boys and Girls Club. Um, do you want to, uh, you can just come and say something real quick if you want to, because I know. Okay, so that's going to be this Saturday um, from 6 to 9 p.m., so if you want to volunteer for that, just make sure you get with me. Um, it is a youth event, so if the youth want to come out, you know, just get with Kyler. And then we'll coordinate that as well. I know that some youth already came up to me saying that they want to be a part of it. So I think it'll be a great time. Um, tomorrow night, I am flyering. So if anyone wants to come and help, I got about 1,000 flyers back there. Um, I have about three people that are going to help me. But the more the merrier. We could knock it out super quick. But it's going to be an amazing time. All right? It's going to be a time where we get to connect with the local community. Amen? Um, and then we're going to be able to connect with the youth. And once we get them connected to the youth, obviously, we want to connect them to the church. And so, therefore, the next morning, we were going to have an in-reach of sorts. So um, just come out. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Get with me if you want to volunteer. We're going to have a game, so I'm going to need peeps to help me with those games. And you have to be, less, be as cool as me, just so that you know, okay? Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to have our own booth. It's going to be branded, and uh, it's going to be fun. Um, let, uh, last one. So obviously, guys, we want to really pump this event. Um, so make sure you invite everyone June 2nd to 4th. I mean, I said Sunday, if you weren't here, like, Joe and Becky Cruz is pretty amazing, and obviously our pastors. So uh, anyways, now I'm off my track. <laughs> so anyways, um, we're, we're aiming, and I'll speak a little bit, we're aiming to, like, get a lot done before then, you know. So, uh, you know, in God's grace, we'll have the bathrooms done, for, you know, before then, too. You know, and we're doing some things with the mother's room, which I'll share tonight, um, which is pretty exciting. So invite people. I've invited some friends. I think it's really going to be life-changing. And I really think it's, I mean, it's our first revival week since I've been here, you know, other than Evangelist Anka that's been here. So I really think it's going to take our whole church to the next level, our helps team, everything, you know. So, um, yeah, make sure we get some people out here, people that need a touch. The touch that you've received at the church, just imagine how much you want that for other people. So, and I think this one's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty epic. So, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right, um, so I'm going to uh, share a quick few scriptures with you guys, and then we'll do the night's offering for the building funds, so if anyone wants to be a part of sewing into the building, <clears throat> and then um, we'll move into some mighty prayer. All right, I'm going to Revelation 2, verse 2 to 4. The Lord spoke to the church of Ephesus, I know your deeds, your hard work, your, per your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles, but are not, and have found them false. 
You have persevered and I have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. So obviously in the Bible, right through the Bible, God gives us standards and priorities, right? And what should be our priorities. Amen? So, so if we pay attention and do things God's way, you know, there's fruit, right? I mean, God's not going to say something and there's not a reaction to his words. God speaks life, right? So can you just imagine, you know, I'm African, believe it or not, my skin doesn't show it. My wife just, I mean, my wife, my mom just kept me inside my whole life, you know? So um, we believe the word, man. Like you'll hear Pastor Rodney say, if it's there, we believe it, you know? Growing up playing rugby, Believe it or not, I don't remember all the scriptures I did, but it was something like he made me strong. You know, he made me strong to run over people, to crush people, all those old <laughs> scriptures. I had a piece of tape on my arm, and I had that scripture written. And I just believed, man, if I touch that rugby ball, I'm about to crush the living lights out of you, you know, and I got God in heaven by my side, you know. And it was probably way out of contents, but as a young guy, you just believe the word, you know. You just believe what God's word said. And I think, like, as we grow you know, we kind of lose that childlike faith, you know, of like, man, that is what God's word says. No matter what the world says, no matter what the voices are out there, no matter what the news says, and believe me, right now, the news for the U.S. is not great. So, um, so like, you just got to shut all that out, you know, and just say, hey, what does God's word says, you know? And um, so through believing God's word is where we'll see our dreams, our desires, all being fulfilled. Amen? Amen? So our first priority, obviously, always is God, Himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? He is or should be number one in our lives. We should worship, praise, and exalt Him above all others, like I just said. We should make His Word the standard we live by every day, right? If we get up in the mornings, we make coffee, we start work, you start being a mom, you start being a grandma, grandpa, you know, you start being a boss, a leader. We should do all of that God's way. There's no difference in it, right? God has priorities and standards for everything in life. His word doesn't leave anything out. And that's the way we should do it. And, you know, I think it really just comes down to God being your first love, you know. I remember my first love over here. She is. Still one of my first loves after God. Um, I mean, if you just remember when you were like, what's the word, infatuated, right? Sorry, English is not my first language. So infatuated with your girl at that time, which, you know, may become your wife if she's not yet or your wife right now. Like, man, that, that's what you did. Before you went to bed, you probably spent two hours texting, you know, and then when you woke up, who's the first person you text, you know, before you even brush your teeth, you know, is that person, you know? And, like, that's the way it should be with God, you know, Len when we wake up in the mornings, like, talk to the Lord. When you go at bed at night, that should be the last person you used to talk to, you know. Um, and, you know, we should just have that standard in our life. Our kids, before they go to bed, you know, like, what does this have to do with offering, Gibbon? I don't know. I'm just talking what I feel. Um, you know, like, for us with our kids, like, that's the first, you know, maybe not the first thing when we wake up. We probably need to be better than that, I'll be honest. But, like, the first thing when they go to bed, man, God's word and prayer, you know, and you know little Zonder and Owen. Owen's, what, two years old, and he prays, you know. He repeats, obviously, what I tell him to pray, you know. But when he knows, and he would remind Dad, Daddy, pray, you know, Daddy, pray. So, like, I'm, in, you know, like, they're not too young. They're not too young to, like, know, like, hey, who's your first love? Who's your priority in the house? Okay. I'm going to read... Um, Oh, the scripture. Oh, here it is. Matthew 6, verse 24 to 34. A little long one. We'll go quick. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It's not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And, and why do you worry about your clothes? See how the lilies in the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you what, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothed 
close the field, the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, which not more will he clothe you, O he of little faith. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, what shall we drink, what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and yet your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But, here's the scripture that everyone knows, right? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Right? It's like I said earlier, tomorrow's tomorrow, today is today. What are we doing today? So we must first seek the kingdom of God. That means that we must turn the focus, our attention away from the world and its pull and turn toward God and his word. We must focus our energies toward finding his will for us and walking out in his actions. God tells us that things that we think are so important are not important at all. We think that we must spend all our time and talent in striving and accumulating things, but he says that those things are not important. There are other things more worthy of our time, attention, and effort. You know, I think this here has been an interesting one for me and for our, our family. And I think really I've come to the point in my life, what am I now, 30, 32, 31? Let's go with the lower one. Um, where you start realizing that, man, God has put gifts, talents, resources in my hands, and like, am I using that every day for his kingdom or not, right? And I think generally our church does a pretty good job at this, you know, and, you know, I'm talking about you guys, for the teaching that we receive, you know, because that really made me think that way, you know, because I haven't heard a lot of people talk that way, you know, and so I'm in the logistics industry, um, so I, ha you know, we have a few divisions, logistics, basically trucking, you know, work with truckers and all that stuff, so like we just, Man, we had a amazing time under President Trump. I mean, trucking was just amazing. And obviously that changed and like everything started going down, you know, we won't go into that. And, um, you know, and we got into a place like end of last year, you know, December and it's like, man, one of the divisions was just not, not doing good at all. Like we were just week after week, we were not making a profit, you know, we were able to pay people, you know, and do all that, but it just didn't look good at all. And I was like, man, what's happening? You know, and, I, and that forced me to come in a place where I press in more to the Lord, spend more time on, like, a scripture that I read. I mean, I really started meditating on that scripture, you know, and, like, got to a place, man, like, what am I really doing, you know? What am I really doing with my time, you know? I've learned things, you know, in the industry that I'm in, God's developed gifts in me that I never thought I had or would ever thought would be possible, you know. I mean, for years, for years, I served under Pastor Rodney for something years, you know, and that was a huge honor, and that was a part, right? But the, the, the stuff that I did under him is different than what I do right now, you know. So it's like God unlocked a whole other part of me that I never even knew existed. Like, I mean, if I had to type on a computer, I would type like this, right? So somewhere like that, that still types with one finger. I know Charlie wants to lift his hand up, you know, so... So, like, it just didn't make sense, the direction God was taking me at that time. So, long story short, man, it really just got me in, like, man, what am I doing with my time? What am I doing with my resources? What am I doing with my gifts? Like, what am I doing with the call of God on my life? You know, is it really impacting the kingdom? Is it really moving the needle, you know? And camp meeting went and just, man, went to camp meeting alone and, like, didn't care about anyone. So, if you were there, I didn't talk to you. It wasn't personal. I was just very focused, you know? And, uh, man, I was just like, God, I need to know what to do with my life, you know? Like, I can still do this and make money and, you know, and we can live good and it's all great, you know. Or like, man, I don't even care about the money anymore. I just want to do what you want me to do. I want to use my gifts that I know that I have that can help the church, that can help the kingdom, that can help kingdom business. Like, where can I take these gifts and make it move the needle? That's all that matters to me, you know. And obviously God talked to me, you know, during the service and um, something that I've known but pushed it away. And, uh, you know, and that's obviously coming under the ministry here as the administrator and helping Pastor uh, Alex and Lauren. Funny thing is I talked to him about it two weeks in and be like, man, I don't really know. This doesn't look, I don't understand this, but this is what God's telling me. Uh, what do you feel? And he started laughing, you know, and he's like, oh, I've known this for like a year and a half, you know. Kyler showed up and he told Kyler like, hey, what did I tell you about a year or something ago? And Kyler's like, 
oh, you told me Yevon's going to be the minister for the church. You know, I couldn't believe, like, you know, how they knew. And we're just waiting for me to get on the same page, you know. So, but, man, it just really got me to a point, like, what I'm getting to is, like, you know, and resources is not just money, you know. It's your talents. It's, like, something you know that you're good at, you know. Something that you know that could help other people. Something that you know you see a gap somewhere. And you're, like, man, I know how to fill that gap, you know. And, like, really got me to the point, like, Lord, I don't care about anything anymore. All I want is to take my resources and my talents and put it in that direction that you have me, you know. And, I mean, I'm living a dream right now, you know, and what I'm doing and enjoying it, you know. And uh, with the team I'm working with and all of that, you know. And, and I know it's only the beginning. And that leads to me standing here, which wasn't expected, so about a few hours ago. But, um, man, I'm just grateful. But I would just encourage you that... Don't get in the rat race of life, you know. Don't get into your energy and your resources just going into the world in the 9 to 5 grind, you know. And I know there's some guys here that made that turn, you know. Caleb back there that made that turn, you know. I mean, Jeff and Jeremy, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're all doing amazing things, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Pastor Josh, you know. And, I mean, there's all, if I don't say your name, it's not personal, you know. So, Nicole and Kyle that moved down here, you know. So, it's like... God's doing something in this church, man. Like, either you get on board, time is short. Like, it's not long, and this thing is going to be buzzing like a beehive, you know. Um, it, you know, and I'll share some things here in a minute. But I would just say, man, get in the place. Get in that secret place. Read that scripture if you need to, and just get hungry for God and be like, man, am I doing what you want me to do? And that should be a daily, weekly thing, you know. Like, always staying hungry like God. Because guess what? Your gifts, your resources change, right? You get richer. Your bank account increases, hopefully, right? Your talent gets better, right? You have a skill that you develop. And then your area of influence should develop too, you know, develop too. So, man, I would just say, like, for me, this has really been under my heart. This here, it's like really just using everything that I am for the Lord. And that doesn't have to be, like, in the ministry. Ministry and business, there's no line like Pastor Alex said, someone drawed a line in between, and who knows why they did that. It's all together. It's all for the Lord. It's all moving the needle. Amen? Amen. All right, last scripture, and then we will take up the offering here. Uh, Haggai, 2, uh, Haggai 2 to 11. This is what the Lord God Almighty said. Give careful thought of your ways. Give up, give up into the mountains and bring down timber and build the house. So that I might take pleasure in it and, and be honored, says the Lord. You expect much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought me, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty, because of my house, which remains in ruin, which each of you is busy with his own house. Therefore, because of you and the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth its crops, I called for a drought on the fields and the mountains, on the grain and new vine, the oil of whatever the ground produces, on men and cattle, and on the labor of your hands. So that's obviously negative, right? I know my African accent's bad, but if you read with me, that doesn't sound very good, right? So if we make God's building house a priority, then he will make our building, our house a priority, right? If we focus only on our own needs and build our own little kingdom, our own little house, our own little efforts, it will produce nothing to no results. We will work hard and yet never seem to have enough. We will save yet and never have much left over. I don't know about you, but, I mean, that's not the way I want to build my house, you know, or my little kingdom, you know what I'm saying, uh, at my house, you know, you know. That's not the way I want to build my life at all. I want to build God's house because I know then he'll build mine. He will do such a better job than what I could ever do. So I'll end with this. Take that scripture and flip it to the positive, right? So let's do this. Okay. All right. So, therefore, because of the heavens have not withheld the dew... On the earth and its crops, not called for a drought, but a massive Florida rain, rainstorm on the fields and the mountains, on the grain, on the new wine, 
and whatever the ground produces for the cattle and the labor of my hands, right? I'm like going all over the place. But just take that scripture and flip it. What will God do when you build his house, when you build his kingdom? You know, you will always have enough. You will always have results, right? You will always have left over afterwards. So we must purpose in our life, like I said, and I'll leave that, to build God's house. And that's really what I'm going to invite you in tonight and on Wednesday nights. It's like, man, and if you don't have anything tonight, you know, go pray with your spouse and be like, man, what could we do to get behind the vision of this house and what's going on around here? So to give you guys a little uh, background on what's happening. So um, where do I start? I guess I'll start back there. Okay. So as, who has never been to the new portables? You've never been there. All right, ushers, get a light and a flashlight afterwards. Miss Jerry wants a tour. So, you know, coming Sunday, if you've never been there, go look out. We've had uh, quite a few guys come out there. You know, Kyle, Charlie, Miss Sam, Mr. Sam, um, you know, and a bunch of guys came out. You know, we've done some work days, and then obviously we've had some contractors come out. But so the left side is going to be bathrooms. If you go in, you'll kind of see uh, stuff cooking. Uh, we've put up the walls. Plumbing, tile, toilet holes, so it's African style right now. I don't think we're going to put the toilet, so get ready, you know, for African style bathrooms. It's going to be fun, believe me. It's called a long drop, you know. <laughs> Done it many times. Um, no, we'll get toilets. So, yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, so it's going to be five-star bathrooms. It's going to be great. Partitions just came in. Kyle, did, uh, Kyle helped us pick them out. Um, they're nice and black, so I think they're similar like the ones at Tampa, right? Like the black uh, ones that they have. Um, we're going to put some insulation right now, so it's going to be nice and cool in there, and then we're going to paint it up. And our goal is to have those bathrooms done by Revival Week, so that's the plan. Um, we just did an awesome privacy wall so our neighbors can enjoy their pool and we don't have to look at them whenever they swim. Um, so we had a bunch of guys came out and helped us with that, did a really, really great job. Mr. Sam is building some nice railing for us. So that area is going to get AstroTurf over there. So like moms on Sunday, if your kid's not listening, uh, that's a good place where you can go put them out there and they can play out there, you know. So, um, so that's really like the short-term phase one is finishing that area. The right side's not going to be done. That's for a little bit later. But that's going to become like a little youth hangout, arcade area, that type of deal on the right portable. So... That's going to be in a later phase, but that is on the agenda. So for those that don't know, you know, I'll say real quick the vision for what Pastor is doing. I mean, this is really going to become a massive hangout slash community center slash magnet for youth, young families. It's going to be pretty epic. So um, we're going to expand this to a 500 seaters to count right now. I have a feeling it's going to get bigger. Um, sanctuary um, going this way. Um, so right now we're on the survey list, I think in the next two weeks, we should get a survey of the property, and that will really get the ball rolling. And that's one of the things we're going to pray tonight, guys, is this really favor with the county, you know, uh, speeding things up, because really that's what we're waiting on. Uh, we can't advertise really right now because of we don't, you know, a lot of things that we don't have. We're on camera, so I won't say it. You know, we're totally legal. Everything's good. So, um, so like, that's really what we really need to push through is getting this paperwork and stuff done. And then we can really go uh, and rock this thing up. But we're doing everything that we can uh, right now. So to the right, that way, we're going to have two basketball courts. So we are working and researching all of that right now between me and Charlie um, on uh, the permit, obviously, for the foundation. We're going to get that nice. They're saying there's some special basketball court flooring. So pastor ones are nice and soft. So that's what we're going to go with. And then it's going to be removable. So we can do all kinds of sports there. I know there's one sport, I think, that you play that I've heard you said before. Is it the pickleball? So it's going to be multi-purpose basketball courts. It's going to be pretty exciting. We're going to have the parking garage right behind it uh, over there. And then we are doing a, probably in the next month, we'll have an airsoft course on the property because we're reaching out to the Boys and Girls Club, we need something for the youth to come out, man, and uh, have some fun. So airsoft course is pretty easy. So pray for me while I research that and get that together. And uh, so if you are an airsoft, get your rifle ready. Uh, you'll need it pretty soon. Um, you know, I'll cover the sniper. So, um, 
So, uh, so we'll have that. Um, Jevray, what is that farm's name? Yeah, has ever been to Southern Hill Farms where you pick the blueberries and stuff? Yeah. Pretty cool. Go there. That will kind of give you an idea what we're going to do on this side when you walk out. So we're going to have food trucks out there. I missed the pool barn. I'll have to go back this way in a minute. Um, we're going to have food trucks over there, hangout areas for the parents. So where young families can come with kids, uh, young families without kids, it don't matter. But there's going to be a playground on this side. So we're going to have a legit nice playground. That way the parents can get their food at the food truck, chill and hang out. Kids can play on this side and have a great time, right? But what's the purpose of all this, right? Is to reach these people outside of church, to let them know we're here, you know? So it's really becoming a magnet to reach this youth, reach young people, young families. We're going to have a pool barn right over here where we have our normal events a little bit more back. And that's going to be four events. And it's going to be for, um, if you don't know, like pastors have a history and like boot camp stuff, uh, like exercise. So we're going to have a morning and a night boot camp. And obviously the food trucks will be open. We'll have a little uh, shake. I was going to say steak and shake, but I don't think that's the right one. Uh, right? Um, so we'll have a, a good, healthy shake place that they can get it after workout. Again, reaching a whole nother group of people, right, that are in the exercise. You know, families, kids, basketball. So it's like a little area for everyone, right? So... Um, and then we'll have a little chicken coop over here is the plan. We have a little corner where kids can come, pick their eggs. People can buy their eggs. You know, we have pros in that already in the church. So there's a lot of things cooking. Um, um, mother's room, we're putting in a door. So the mother's room is right now. We're going to put in a door that leads out to the lobby. And we'll close out the house. House will become our green room, our guest room, offices. So, um, so we're going to put that door there. Um, and then mothers have e easy access in and out, and they have their own little area. And we'll make sure you guys have audio and possibly video down the line where you can see the service, but at least listen to it. Um, so that should be done before revival week is the plan. So, um, so yeah, I think that I missed anything. Guys, that's the vision. I'm on board. Are you? You know, I think pastor is a great vision. I'm, every time he talks about it, I'm excited, you know. And uh, I would say, you know, o over most, everything goes smooth that we work with, you know. And thank you for everyone in the church that has come out and helped and been a part of this vision. You know, we appreciate it. And we know the souls and the people it's going to reach for years and years and years. And even after we're gone, it's going to be eternity, you know. So, you know, if... You know, if you have resources, talents, contacts, stuff that could help, you know, get with me. You know, it doesn't always have to be a financial contribution, you know, but like your time, you know, all of that above, you know, is always something that you could use and can be a part of, you know. So um, I'm excited to come to pass, you know, and, and for us, man, I mean, this is our this is our group here, you know. This is your guys are gonna lead the way. You guys are gonna be the ones that are gonna make the people hungry. You guys are gonna be the one that the people are gonna see. They're gonna see your smile when they walk in, you know. Whenever their families come and play basketball, you boys, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys are gonna be the ones that's gonna minister to those, you know. It's not just gonna be pastors, this is not just a Pastor Alex and Lauren thing, you know. This is a church thing, you know. Everyone has a department that's gonna go to the next level. You know, you guys, wherever you are, you know, if it's Whatever it is, in those areas that I talked about, like, man, you're going to be a part of it, you know, and what an honor it is to be a part of it, and what an honor to see this thing coming together. And, I mean, our headquarters have done this, you know, like, not, you know, they have built those balconies, they have built that massive tent, you know what I'm saying? The faith is there, and I believe the gift of faith is there to get this thing done, and um, we're going to do it with or without you, you know, like Pastor always says, but we obviously want to make sure that we give you the opportunity to give into it, get behind it, and we're going to see this thing come to pass quickly. And me and Pastor have been telling each other, at the end of the year, I'm really going to pinch him, and I think he's really going to pinch me, and we're going to be like, man, look where we are, you know? Maybe we'll have a pinch session in church. I don't know if that's allowed, but pinch, you know, look where we are, you know? And we're going to see this place filled up, and it's going to be amazing, you know? Sorry for my bad jokes, but um, cool. Um, ushers, if you can hand out the envelopes. Uh, so take a second, just ask God what he wants you to do. Um, I won't make a bad joke about that. What did they always say? 
If the Lord gives you two amounts, put them together. You know, <laughs> the offering jokes. Sorry, I've been in church for a long time. All this stuff comes through. Um, so Cash App, Tidely, you can give online. We have crypto given too, by the way. Crypto is doing great right now. So if you feel like crypto, there is crypto given. No one ever mentions it, but it is on the website. And obviously check in credit card and uh, just have the Lord leave you and you're given. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul Let's stand. that I can't contain. Church, we're just going to go on a time of prayer. Feel free to walk around uh, the church, inside the building, obviously. And um, me, Pastor Josh, and Kyler will rotate, and we'll kind of announce the subjects we want to feel to pray on. And, man, I would just crush it, you know. Uh, just really press in with us and pray out of the innermost of your being. And let's believe God to move some mountains tonight. And uh, man, I'm excited to see the testimonies of everything that's going to happen. Thank you, Jesus. I think first we pray for our pastors. Thank you, Jesus, for our pastors, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you have sent them, that you have called them, Father, for this church, for this region, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have given them a word and a vision, Father. Thank you, Lord, that they have written the vision down and made it plain for us to follow, Lord. Father, thank you for giving them strength where they are right now. Thank you for refreshing them where they are right now. Thank you for giving them a fresh word, Lord, a fresh fire that they were going to bring home, Lord, on Sunday. Thank you, Jesus, that our pastors, Lord, are prosperous. Thank you, Lord, that they would not lack anything, that every dream and vision that they have comes to pass. Father, we thank you right now, Father, for their family, Lord. Thank you that you protect them. Thank you that your angels are around them, Father. Thank you that your blood covers them, Lord. Thank you that everywhere they go, Father, favor and goodness and mercy follows them. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Let's pray for our pastors. Come on. Let's press in. Come on. Come on, 
Kori baba baka sata re bo 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 shoto. Kere bo 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 ko soto re baba bande. Kere de 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 bo shoto re baba ba sande. Thank you, Lord, that when our pastors speak, Lord, even when they speak over the airwaves, even as we start going to do podcasts, Father, even as we go live, Father, even when people go back to our Spotify, that there would be something about their words, something about their message, Father, that their message will reach the right people, Lord, that their word, Father, that comes through them, Lord, that you've given them will burn into the hearts of the people, into the young people, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kori ba 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 she tere bo koro bondo. Ne 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 bo she tere de de bo ko she kere ba 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 bando. Kori na 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 mande. Kere bo 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 so tori ba ba kata na na mando. Kere bo 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 se te te be 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 ve ve bondo. Kere de de bo she tere bo 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 ko so tori ba ba mando. Kere de de bo she tere bo ko sonto. Amande rebondo corrende che che te 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 bondo robondo corre baba bobo bo che te rebondo che 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 te de rebobo bo che te rebondo che rebobo nondo thank you for a new hunger in our pastors lord thank you as they get hunger for you father thank you as they level up father we will level up as a church lord thank you as they get hunger lord we get hunger lord Thank you Lord that this ministry is going to the next level in every single area Lord. Kore baba bande. Every desire that I pastors have Lord, we pray it in. We pray it in. Bless them Lord. Bless them Lord. Bless them not even the things that they're thinking about. Things of the past that they've always wanted Lord, Father, that you would bless them in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Kore baba ba she te re bo koro bondo. Thank you Lord. Thank you for a special anointing upon their lives Lord. Thank you Lord as every Sunday they step onto this altar for the anointing Lord to bring the word to us. Father, thank you that you anoint our ears every Sunday when our pastor speak that it would burn in our hearts, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Kore ba 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 she te re bo 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 soto. Ke re ba 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 ke she te re bo bo soto. Ra mande de 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 bo ko soto re ba ba kande. Ke re de 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 bo she ke te de de bo soto ra ma ma mando. Ke re bo 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 ko soto re ba ba karabande. Ke she te re bo 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 soto re ba bande. Mande de de mundo ko re ba ba ka she te re na 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 mundo ko re ba 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 she te de mundo ko re ba 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 bo she te re bo bo ko she te re ba mande. Ke re da da bo soto re ba ba kande. Thank you Jesus. Corre ba 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 she ke de 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 bo she te de bondo. Corre ba ba ka she te re bo mande. Guys, let's pray for the vision. Let's pray for the construction. Let's pray for the permits. Let's pray for the county. Favor. Thank you, Jesus, Father, that as we build this vision, as it comes to pass, brick by brick, wood by wood, iron by iron, Lord, cement by cement, Lord, Father. Every contractor, every worker, Lord, thank you, Lord, that we have favor with everyone we deal with, Jesus. That this county will say yes and amen, Father. Father, that everything that we do, Lord, to get this vision and pass will be smooth, Father. That you send your angels right now, Lord, on command, Father, to go and make the way plain to make this vision come to pass. Thank you, Father, that everything we do, Lord, everything we do, Father, is in your good will, Lord, and we will see this place built, Father. We will see this place bring in a generation, Lord. We will see this place, Father, changed, changed, Father. That Your hand will be in everything, but it's not about a place. It's not about a building. It's not about a property, Lord. Father, it's about Your kingdom. It's about Your people, Lord. That this would only be a magnet for the world to come, Lord, so we can fellowship and level people up. Thank you, Jesus, that this message that is born in this church will reach a generation through this property, Lord. That this will only be the beginning, Father, the beginning of what will be done, Father, in this ministry. That this will be duplicated, Father, in counties, and cities, and states, and countries, Lord. Father, that here, Lord, will be home and quarters, Father, headquarters. Father, it will flow out of here, Lord. That we will learn here, Father. And we will go out and reach a generation, Lord. Father, we thank you. That everything that we 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 touch, Father, everything we touch, Lord, comes into Your kingdom, Father. I thank You, Lord. Every research that we do, Father, everything that we attempt to do, Father, quotes we get, Lord, everything, Father, 
that it will be in your will that we will have favor, Lord, that we would have the wisdom to do every job. Father, supernatural wisdom, things we might not know how to do, but suddenly, Lord, we will have a miracle and we will know how to do that. We will see problems, Lord, but we would say heaven, heaven has our back, Father, that we will have solutions to problems instantly, Lord. We will put our head down on our pillow at night with a list of problems, Lord, but we will wake up in the morning with the solutions to those problems that as we even laid our head on the bed, Father, your angels went ahead and made the way plain. Thank you, Lord, that everything, everything, Lord, Father, you have our back and this vision will come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, even preparing the hearts of the people, even the hearts of the people that we're going to deal with, even within the counties, within the city, Lord, with even contractors, with workers, Father, preparing their hearts even now they're where they are, Lord. So as soon as we come in contact with them, Father, that they are ready, Lord, and you have prepared them, and we can move forward, and we have no blockages. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for materials showing up, Father, resources showing up, Lord, truckloads just pulling up and say, hey, you guys need this, Lord. Father, we believe you for the supernatural, Lord. We believe you for things, Lord, that doesn't sound like it's even possible, Lord. Whatever is needed, as soon as it's spoken, Lord, it shows up, Father. The camel shows up with the resources. The ravens comes over and loads it, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Chinook helicopters just drops it on the property, Lord. We believe you for the supernatural to get this vision to come to pass in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church, your prayer life is going to go to the next season. Your prayer life is going to go to the next level tonight. It's not just the language. It's connecting with heaven down here. Connect with heaven down in your spirit. Come on. It's praying the perfect will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for more property coming into our hands, Lord. Thank you, Lord, even within the city, more property coming into our hands, Father. That you have property lined up, prime property for us, Father. Even in the cities, Father. Even as we step into the cities, that the property is lined up for us. Thank you for gifting the people with real estate in this church, Father. Thank you for the ones that's pursuing that, Lord. A supernatural anointing and a gift upon their life, Father. And they would go into these cities, Lord, and they would see the property to have this vision come into pass. Thank you, Lord. It's time for the sons of God to go and take the land, Father. Father, this is our first land we've taken, and we'll have this vision come to pass. And the next city, the next county, the next country, we're coming for you. We're going to have the kingdom come to pass within there. Governments will bow to us and say, hey, what do you guys want to do? You have free reign. Have God's will within my community. Have God's will within my country. Have God's will within my culture, my tribe. Thank you, Jesus, that that is happening, Lord, when we are moving very quickly in that direction, Lord. Thank you for leveling up our people, Father. Our people to go to the next level with our pastor, Lord. Thank you, Lord, at everything that we do, Lord, that we will stay on the place we need to be and that's in the secret place with you. That everything that we do is out of our spirit, Lord. Out of this innermost being. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray for our country, guys, for whatever what's happening right now. Father, we pray for the USA, Lord. We're praying for our country, Lord. Father, we thank you, Jesus, that you have called and founded this country, Father, to be a God-fearing country. 
Thank you, Lord, that we take a stand that enough is enough, Father. The families of America is being attacked, Lord, and enough is enough. Father, thank you for pulling off the wheels of Pharaoh chariot. That ever the enemy has planned, Lord, that he will fall in that trap himself, Father. Thank you, Lord, that even now as the enemy is plotting, that it would come to naught. Thank you, Lord, that we are God's people and we will stand up and make a difference, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the fire of God going through this country and not just we talking about it, but actually doing it, Lord. That this message that we have out of this church, that it would reach America, Lord, that it would reach even the preachers, even the church, even the lost, Father. Father, that it will change even from this day, Lord, that you help us and give us the grace to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. That we will move the needle within our generation. That we will move the needle within this country, Lord. Father, we pray for America, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, for a turnaround. No matter what the media says, no matter what the world says, even as the world turns its back on her, Lord, whatever God has founded will stay. Thank you, Lord, that you have a special heart for this country and its people, Lord. And Father, we thank you that you would come through for us, Father. That change will happen, Lord. That things that need to move will be out of the way, Lord. Whatever is necessary, Lord. Use your people to get it done, Lord. Make us sensitive to do what needs to be done within this generation, within our, 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 our area of influence, Lord. Even as we go to work every day, that's where the change starts, Lord. Even as we do our social medias, that's where the change starts, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We pray, Lord, for our government, Lord, for the White House, Father. The, the, the people up there, Lord. Father, that you would just walk in there. That your presence, your fire would just clean out that house, Lord. Father, that change will come. The change will come even with the new election, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you will expose the evil. That you will expose what is in darkness, Lord. But, Father, that, Father, that your people will get in there and move the needle, Lord. That we will keep our focus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Don't give up yet. Come on. We're only in the first quarter. Let's push this thing. Come on. Your prayer life to the next level. Thank you, Jesus. Let's believe God for big things tonight. Let's believe God for big, big things. Thank you, Jesus. Don't, don't listen to your flesh. You can go way further than you think. You can go way deeper in the spirit than you think. Come on, it's not just a prayer night. It's seeking God's face. Whatever you got to do to do that. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us watch TV shows for three hours. Some of us do different things for two, three hours. Man, this is God's presence corporately. This is God's presence as a church. Man, things move when this happens. Thank you, Jesus. So don't take it lightly. Do not take it lightly. This is God's presence. Talk to Him. Talk to Him out of your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Come Lord, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, Jesus. Lord, we owe you everything, Lord. Lord, we give you everything, Lord. Lord, we give you everything, Father God, Lord. Lord, you know everything that's in our heart, Lord. You know everything that's in our mind, Lord. Lord, you know the motives of everything, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, Lord, because, Lord, you look through that, God. And Lord, you search each and every person's heart here, Lord. And Lord, as you're searching each person's heart, Lord, Lord, you are touching people right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the touch from heaven tonight in this place, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that your touch is mighty, Lord, that your touch moves things, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that your touch has moved each and every one of us, God. I thank you, Jesus, Lord. I thank you for your touch from heaven. I thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you were not passive about it, but, Lord, you came, Lord. 
and you came on a mission, Lord. Lord, you came for a purpose, God, Lord. You came to destroy the works of the enemy, Lord. Lord, you, made, you came to make us sons and daughters, God. Lord, you came to put your spirit on the inside of each and every one of us, Lord. So, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. We give you all the, all the honor, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus for everything that you've done, Lord, and for what you're going to do. Lord, in your word, the word says that you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and, and trampled under feet by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Come on. Are you the light in the world that cannot be hidden? The Bible says over here that not, um, not do, the, do the light lamp. Um, but it won't be put under a basket, but where will it be put? On the lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And so, Father God, Lord, we want to come to you tonight, Lord, thanking you, Lord, that we are the light, Lord, that is that is shining in this darkness, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your people. I thank you for this church. I thank you for our pastors, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for covenant, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that we are on a mission, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you have bound us with cords that cannot be broken, Lord. Lord, I thank you for greater are you that is in us than anything that's in the world. Lord, I thank you where two or three are gathered there in the midst, you are there in, in our presence, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you give us all your promises, for all of them are yes and amen. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that your promises are to show us how much you love us, Lord, but Lord, our obedience shows us how much we love you. So Jesus, we give you all the glory. We believe in your promises. We believe in your word. We are activated in your word, and we are activated by faith. Tonight, Lord, I pray for laborers, because Lord, you say that many are called, but only few are chosen. And Lord, you are asking us, Lord, to pray for the laborers to, that, that we would go and be a light in this dark world. So Lord, we are here commissioned by the Holy Ghost, by your word, that we are laborers for you, that we are co-laborers for you. Lord, that we are here to do exactly what you've called us to do, to be exactly who we're called to be, and to move the needle the way that you want to move the needle. So Lord, we give you honor and glory for everything that you're going to do in our lives, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father God, Lord, that we would be ready at all times, God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that as we saturate ourselves with the word, Lord, that the word of God will come forth in the mighty name of Jesus by your anointing and by your Holy Ghost. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would give everybody a desire in this house, Father God, to be a soul winner, to be a nation shaker, to be someone who will be able to go into a region and be able to literally shake up the kingdom of darkness so that they can bring the light of Christ into that lost and dying world. So Lord, we pray for laborers. We pray for the people within this church, Lord. Lord, we will not slack in that area. We will have faith in that area. We will move forward in that area. We will say what you called us to say. We will do what you've called us to do in every single area in this region, Lord. Lord, you called us to this region. You called us to Mount Dora, to Sorrento, to Apopka, to Sanford, to Lake Mary. Lord, you called us in this particular reason. And the reason why we are in this region is to shake it up in the name of Jesus. Come on. You got to shake it up in the name of Jesus. And we know that with the power of the word of God that lives on the inside of each and every one of us, and with that, with that covenant that cannot be broken, that we will do exactly what we have been called to do. Lord, we are on a mission in the mighty name of Jesus, and that is to reach the lost at any cost, Lord. Lord, so Lord, just use us, Lord. Everybody say, Lord, use me to do what you've called me to do. In Jesus' name, it is settled. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give Jesus some praise right now. Come on, are you a soul winner? Are you a nation shaker? Will you shake this region? Yes, you will. The Bible says that those who do not will, do the will of the Father are not worthy of him. So we will do the will of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus and not one person will left be, be left behind. Amen? Come on, so we're believing for this region that we will shake this region right now. Come on, I want you to lift up your city right now, wherever you live. Just lift up that city right now. Just pray to the Lord, Lord, let me be a light in that city, Lord. Lord, bring me to people, Lord, that, that you want to bring me to, Father God. Give me those divine appointments, Lord, that you have called me. To, to, to have, Lord, so that I could touch and I could help change, Lord, by the word of God that lives on the inside of me, that a person will be able to hear the word, they will be able to gravitate to the word, and Holy Spirit, you will draw them into the word. So, Lord, we thank you, God. 
for we will reach our, our cities, Lord, and we will reach every city that's around this church for the mighty name of Jesus. This place will be a beacon of light in this place, and people will come from the north and the south and the east and the west from all over because they will hear of a church that has faith. They will hear of a church that's full of prosperity. They will hear of a church that is rich in grace and mercy. They will hear of a church that is full of love. So Lord, we thank you, God, for love, love, love. The love of God that lives on the inside of us is what propels us to go out into the lost, into the dying world. And so Lord, we want to honor you with that in each and every one of our lives right now. In Jesus' name, and Lord, we pray for this for this event that's coming up on Saturday. Lord, it's just an event, Lord, that we get to connect with the youth, Lord. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that everybody that's supposed to be there will be there, and we will be able to connect with these young people and bring them in right now. So, Lord, we lift up that event, Lord, and we just commission your angels right now. Amen? Come on. We commission your angels right now, Father God. Lord, begin to prepare the hearts of those people. Begin to prepare the hearts of those who are going to be there, Lord. Lord, and prepare our hearts, Lord. Prepare our hearts for whatever it is that you want us to do. We're not going there with any agenda except to love. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, because we know that we will honor you in that way. And in that very moment is when you will speak to us by faith and we will do exactly what you've called us to do and connect with who we're supposed to connect with. So, Father God, Lord, we thank you that this is going to be the beginning of many. We thank you that there's going to be many outreaches. We thank you, Lord, that even this Sunday, Sunday, the Sunday right afterwards, we're going to have an inreach and everybody that's going to be here is going to be here who's supposed to be here to hear the word of God. Come on, we thank you, Jesus, for everything that you called each and every one of us to do. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up the, your, your, in your heavenly language right now. Lift up in your heavenly language right now. Come on. And if you are in fear or if you're scared to approach somebody, I want you to know that perfect love casts out all fear. You do not have to be afraid. For there is a mission that's bigger than your fear. It's called faith. Amen. There is God's word and you relied on his word by faith. We are faith people. Bring us to the lost and the dying. Because you have anointed us for such a time as this. We thank you, 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 Jesus. Come on, begin to thank him right now. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for what you've done in us, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you come and bring revelation. You come to bring wisdom. You come to bring knowledge. We thank you, 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 Jesus. For it is a privilege to be used by you. It is a privilege to be a co-laborer with Jesus. It is an honor to do what you have called us to do and Lord we thank you Lord because you even give us a system Lord that when we go out and when we please you what we do in the secret you will reward openly so we thank you for that we thank you Lord that we have a soul winner's crown to obtain Lord we thank you Lord that nobody will steal our crown that we will run the race that we are called to do we thank you Lord that you will use us Lord to, to reach to the next nation shaker Father God and Lord it will be all for your glory Glory, God. We thank you, Lord, that we will be used in mighty miracles in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you're believing for miracles to be used, begin to lift up your heavenly language right now. Come on, begin to lift up Jesus in your heavenly language right now. You see, a soul winner is a person who preaches the good news of Jesus. It is a person that comes to bring hope up to a dying person. It is a person that comes to bring substance, and that substance is Jesus, for he is the realization. He is 
He is real in us, and he is going to manifest himself to that person. So, Lord, we thank you. For within all of that, Lord, we will see miracles, Father God. We will see miracles. Come on, if you are believing that the Lord wants to use you in miracles, if you are believing that the Lord wants to use you in the giftings, ask for it. Jesus says to ask for it. There's nothing wrong with ask for it. Lord, use us, Father God, for your glory, not for ours. Use us for your glory. Lord, let the people see that the, that, that the miracles that you want to do in their lives will show them how amazing you are. God, we want to be used that way, God, because we want to glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I pray for boldness in this place. For every person has a testimony. Every person has a testimony. And, Lord, you say that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So, every person in this place has a testimony. You have an anointed testimony. You have a powerful testimony. And the Lord wants you to share it everywhere you go. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify you you. We magnify your name. We give you honor, Lord. Because if it was not for you, we would not be here in this place today. If it was not for you, Lord, some of us would be dead right now. But Lord, you saved us, God. And we will go and tell the world. We will tell them how Jesus saved us, set us free, how he sanctified us. Lord, we will tell the world from the rooftops what you have done, Lord. And Lord, we know that you will bless the hands of those who honor honor you. You will bless the hands of those who lift up the name of Jesus. Lord, you will bless us, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, because we love you with all of our hearts, Lord. We could not do anything without you. So, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. on as we go into this next stretch I want you to just burn in the Holy Ghost get hungry the Bible says those that are hungry and thirsty after righteousness will be filled get hungry those that are hungry and thirsty for righteousness will be filled in the name of Jesus Begin to burn in the Holy Ghost. Come on, you were called to burn. You were called to look like Jesus. You were called to look like Jesus, but you've got to get out of the way first. Come on. Burn. Spirit is moving. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me. We love you, Lord. Every baby she calabas so reboso. Alive and flame. We are burning with the Holy Ghost. I indeed baptize you with water because of repentance. Oh, but he who is coming flame. after me is mightier than I whose sandals I am not worthy to fit, to take off or carry, then he will baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. Hey! Burning in the Holy Ghost. He will baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. Out of my belly will flow rivers of living water Stop it. 
I'll cry out to heaven. Is I don't have to be up here with eloquence of speech. No Just cry out to heaven. It. It's you. Oh, Nobody's going to do it yeah, for you. Bunny, Nobody's going to get hungry bunny, for you. I can't get hungry bunny, for you. Bunny, I can't lead you Holy to get more Ghost. hungry. You've got to grab a hold of it and get hungry. be shaken by the hand of God. The schools will be shaken by the hand of God. I speak to the school systems now. I command whole school boards to open up. I command school systems to open up. We will have footholds. We will have open doors to speak where we couldn't speak before in Jesus' mighty name. The kids will burn in the Holy Ghost. Ela babramba se ne beshimbrando I gotta have more of you, Lord. I gotta have more of you, Lord. Put your fire on me, Lord. I wanna look like you, Jesus. I wanna talk like you, Jesus. I wanna walk like you, Jesus. I'm hungry, Lord. He's the refiner's fire, the purifier's soap. He comes to clean you up, He comes to put His fire on you. That you never be the same. He bramba brambo brebo so brebo shebrete kila babrambo brebo. Brembo brebo so braco. Rebebe shibrando. He braba barebo. We are in the days of your power, Lord, yeah. The revival has begun. We are in the days of your power, Lord, yeah. Restoration begins. We are in the days of your power, Lord, yeah. The Bible says whatever you loose on earth shall has be begun. loose in the heavens. We are in the days whatever you bind power, on earth shall be Lord, bound yeah. in the heavens. Begin to loose and bind right now. I lose heaven on behalf of the school systems in Jesus' mighty name. I bind up that devil that's going against the principles, the administrative system within the school systems that would not allow the Holy Ghost and fire within the schools. I curse that curse in Jesus' mighty name. That lady that brought prayer out of school, I thank you, Lord, that there's a standard being raised up right now that the fire of the Holy Ghost would go from classroom to classroom. Fire, Prayer fire, will come fire, back to school in Jesus' name. Fire, in those fire, Ivy League fire, schools, Harvard, Princeton, fire, Yale, who have turned their back on the word of the Lord fire, for money fire, and mammon, fire, they will shake. Fire, fire, they will shake fire, like the temple shook fire, when they crucified fire, Jesus. Fire, they will shake fire, in the name of Jesus. I command the school systems, I command the youth to shake with the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
mighty things that the Lord has done. Oh, oh, oh. oh with your heart you can see. When the devil comes in like a flood, God will raise a standard against that flood. I see a standard being raised up on the horizon, running with a trumpet, saying, Here I am, Lord. Come and use me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for the standard being put in our hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Fire of the Lord. It begins in our hearts, Lord. And it flows like a river. And it burns like a fire. Fire of the Lord. Fire of the Lord. Fire of the Lord. Fire of the 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 Fire I loose, I loose the presence of God in the school systems, in Jesus' mighty name. I'm telling you, there will be a revival in this generation, in Jesus' mighty name. And we're not going down without a fight. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that the world is waking up. I thank you, Lord, that the world is waking up to the wicked agenda. I thank you, Lord, that your people's eyes are being opened. I thank you, Lord, that the scales are falling off. I thank you, Lord, that people are finally seeing. Old, young, middle-aged, people who aren't Christians becoming Christians. I thank you for influencers, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for people of influence, high level. I thank you for politicians people of high influence with the platform. I see them coming to the feet of Jesus. And I see that their platforms being used for the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. God is not done with America. God is not done with his church. He's raising up a standard. We will be the standard. There is a standard being birthed right now across the world. There's a fire being birthed right now. There's nothing else. I said there's nothing else. There is nothing else else that I want. And on the third day, Use me, Lord. On the second day, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will restore us. He is restoring us, restoring 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 us. He is restoring Rombo Brombo Sobretica. Elaba Brombo So. Rombo Shabre de Ki. speak to family members we speak to unsaved ones right now in the name of Jesus we send ministering angels I said we send ministering angels go and awake those that are sleeping in Jesus mighty name we send ministering angels to revive the sleeping ones Right now, if you're believing God for a saved or an unsaved family member, a friend, I want you to raise your hand to heaven right now. Lift it high. 
We are going to declare their salvation in the name of Jesus. We are going to declare their salvation in Jesus' mighty name. And they won't just be saved, but they will have a radical encounter with the Holy Ghost. Come on, keep them hands lifted high. Begin to cry out to heaven now. Begin to stand in the gap for that family member. Begin to stand in the gap for that unsaved loved one, that friend. Revival is coming to their home. Those that have been running, who know the Lord. They will come to the feet of Jesus. In repentance, we send ministering angels right now. Right now, influence their, influencing their thought life. I thank you, Lord, for those who have never encountered Jesus. That you would send planters and harvesters in their life. We thank you, Lord for people equipped with the Holy Ghost and fire to go right now in the realm of the Spirit. Right now. We call it done. 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 I said we call it done. Claim their salvation in Jesus' like mighty name. Let it fall like rain. They will not fall by the wayside. They will know My the Lord. My generation is ready. In Jesus' mighty name. They will know For the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. My generation is ready. Now just begin to thank Him. We've claimed it. Now begin to thank Him for the victory. Come on, begin to thank Him for the victory. Lord, we enter Your courts with thanksgiving and into Your, your gates with praise, Lord. Come on, begin to thank Him. Lord, we thank You. Thank You that it's done. Thank You that it's finished. Thank you that salvation is coming. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel faith in the room. I believe some family members will be saved. Come on, there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. They could be OD. They could be doing drugs. They could be in a bar. They could be in the most broken place of their life. But when you stand in the gap for those who no one else is standing for, God shows up.
Just when I was praying there, I was feeling whenever I talked about, you know, where I was in a place in my life where I came to a st standstill and I was just like, God, I want to use my gifts, my talents, my resources, my time, everything that I am for your kingdom. And I feel like that really clicked for one or two of you. And we can keep playing that song, uh, Pastor Brett. Um, whoever that is, and guys, the song doesn't create an atmosphere, what God says, and that's what I feel in my heart. There was people there that felt that right away, and you're like, that's me. That's what I want. I want you to come to the front quickly. My generation is wasted. For our wave of revival. And get ready, church. We're going to praise God here in a minute for the My victory. I really believe when Kyler stepped up, things happened for sure. I really believe everything for we prayed for. Heaven, heaven moved for us. Father, I pray for every person that's up here, Lord. Lord, just as I stood there in camp meeting, and even as I just stood with that wedding that I did, Lord, and I saw the people, and Father, you reminded me that you have called me for this generation that you have put things on the inside of me that you want to use within this generation. Father, I pray that same reminder that you put on me, that every person, Father, that you would remind them the call of God that you put on their life, the gifts and the talents that you put on them, Lord. Father, that there's no more wasted time, Lord, that today is the day, Father, where they will step in to what you have for them, Lord. As a little boy, I've always said, I want to be the person that God has called me to be. I want to be the man that God has called me to be, Lord. And Father, even as women and men stand here, Lord, after tonight, Lord, they will know in their hearts, they already know who that person is, Father, that they would have the grace to walk in it, Lord, that you would close the doors that need to be closed, Father, and at the same, Father, you would open the doors in their life, just like you made it smooth for me, like how you even have already paved the way here before, Father, that their way is paved right now, Father, and Father, that's not about me touching them, laying hands on them, Father, but it's them laying everything in the altar, and it really just took me saying, God, I don't care about anything else. I don't care about a job. I don't care about money. I don't care about people, what people think about me. Father, I just healed everything to you afresh, to your call, Lord. And do with me, Lord. I want what I do in eternity matters, Father. I want my seconds and my minutes to matter for your kingdom. And Father, being in that place, having that grace to stay in that, Lord. So right now, Lord, as I stand in faith with each one of them, as we make contact, Father, that heaven will come down, Jesus, and that everything that they believe in God for, Father, would come to pass. And Father, that touch, Lord, that touch from heaven will put it into motion right now in Jesus' name. Right there where you are, just say, Lord, I lay it all from my hands, from my feet, to my head, my talents, my gifts, my time. I give it all to you, Lord. That's all that matters in the light of eternity is to be the woman and the man that you have called me to be. Thank you, Jesus, that I receive it right now by faith. Just receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you would renew, Lord, renew her youth like an eagle. Even the gifts and the talents that you have told her, Lord, when she was a girl, Father, when she was in her youth, Lord, that you have not forgotten about that, Father, that what you have from us, Amy, Lord, is big, Lord. Father, we see the hunger, Father, in her. Father, that you still have many, many people that need to be touched by these hands, but need to be touched by her heart, by her lips, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that it even right now in Jesus' name will come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.
Father, thank you for already doing the work in Cody. Thank you, Lord, for the growth that's happening, the hunger, Lord. It's time, the Lord said, it's time for the next level. You're right there. You're right there. Your hunger is there. Don't stop now. The worst thing you could do right now, Cody, is stop because you're right there. Just, just, just jump in, man. Just jump in right now. Just jump in. Thank you, Lord, that even as she lays her head on the pillow tonight, Father, that you would speak to her. Thank you, Lord, when she wakes up, Lord, she would have the direction that she's looking for. Thank you for the doors that's opening that she's believing you for. Thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten her. Thank you, Father, that you have big plans for her. And right now, Jesus, we come together in faith. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Right now. Thank you, Lord, this week. This weak results will come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Church, it's going to be a great year and a great week. I'm going to read a scripture here. And we're going to get the heaven out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Second Samuel 22. And verse 2, I will sing, no, second, yeah, second Psalm 22. I will sing my victory song of praise. My God hears my cry. We could stand, guys. Let's finish this thing up. My God hears my cry. My God is moving heaven and earth for me. My God gives me everything I need. My God will give me victory. I will thank God and I will praise God. Let's put up this song. And, man, let's just take two minutes. Let's wrap this thing up with praise. And thank God for what he's done tonight. And even this week and this month, we're going to see the results. I'm going to start singing if we don't get a song. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Father, we thank you for everything that we pray tonight, Father. Even as we came and touched, and heaven came down and touched us, Lord, that the results of what we prayed for will evil come into effect tonight. Thank you, Jesus, that you hear our cry. Thank you, Lord, that every subject we touch, Lord, and everything we even prayed in the Spirit, Father, where you came down, Lord, that the result is happening. That, uh, that, that, Father, right now, even everything that Pastor Josh and Kyler prayed, Father, the results and the effects will be even in these days, Father. And as we lay a foundation for these prayer nights, Lord, as we go as a church to the next level within prayer, Father, I pray, Lord, that even in our personal life, Lord, that you would challenge us to go to the next level in our prayer life. So that we come to these Wednesday night services, Lord, already prayed up, already stirred up to, like, shake heaven in this place, Father, and see the results, Lord. Father, we thank you and we praise you and we know, we know, Lord, that whatever we prayed will come to pass. And even in this week, Lord, that you would touch our hearts, that you would guide our feet, that you would use us and even in those prayers, that it's not some vain prayer hoping something's going to happen, some Joe Smo is going to do something out there, but that you would use me, that you would use Kyler, that you would use Pass the Bread, I mean all the names out here. Father, that you would use us, Lord. What an honor it is to be used, Father, that we would go and be the needle movers, that we would go and be the leaders in this generation, Father. Father, we just praise you. Church, take two seconds. Praise Him. Praise Him. Thank Him. Let's do this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe it? Shout an amen. All right. Love you, church. Welcome to Chill in the Presence. And uh, we'll see you Sunday. Love you. No, no, no. We cannot.